Okay, get get over here. Not beating your boat. What did you just do? Sitting off noobs, Captain. Get over here, we're live, mate. Oh, are we? We're live with the captain who's I'm blowing things up. Who is strangely absent. Right you are then. Carry on, lad. Alright, hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of the Megalith tutorial series. In this part, we're going to show you how to set up the power plant and the maceration rig, which are the exact same thing, and they power your factory <laughs> without using cheap, crappy collectors, which Your are mom's a cheap, crappy collector. Cheap and crappy. Right then. Okay. If you haven't seen the other tutorials, here they are. They're kind of still laid out a little bit. you got an awesome sorting machine. Woo! Set up some electricity and other stuff. Check them out. There's Righteous. already videos. For all that stuff and all your wonderment okay so we recorded the entire video that you're about to watch and realized we never explained what in the deuce you're doing or why you need a red matter power plant why is it so important to an HV solar array factory or if you're making the full-fledged megalith factory why is that so important well the reason is because it allows you to have all the raw materials that you need without any quarries any sort of outside influence everything's condensable you don't have to do any work all you got to do is set up this power plant one time and that power plant will get utilized by the entire factory. So if you don't know anything about an energy condenser, we'll take a look at it really quick. It's a block that's actually a chest that lets you set a target, and you can set that target up here. You just place it in there. And it has this meter which contains, if you see, the iron ingot requires 256 EMC. This chest basically lets you convert other items with an EMC value into a different item. So for example, if we had an iron ingot and we wanted to create iron and we had extra eternalis fuel you see it has an EMC value of 8192 whereas this iron ingot only needs uh, 256 per iron ingot so if we take that it should make about 32 of these boom there we go one eternalis fuel makes 32 iron ingots at a time now what we're gonna do in the setup that we're gonna discuss here I've exploded it out here basically we are going to use an energy condenser to produce blaze rods then we're going to pump them into a macerator grind them into blaze powder for every blaze rod you convert you get enough to make um, another one plus some extra blaze powder which is going to be the driving principle of this whole factory what we're going to do is we're going to set the target on our energy condenser to be a blaze rod and then we're going to slowly feed it blaze powder and you can see as we slowly feed it more it keeps creating more and more blaze rods we're going to go ahead and do this a ton of times. We're going to set up a machine that does it automatically. And the end goal is actually going to be this stuff called red matter. And what red matter will do is if we take a bunch of it here, you're actually going to need quite a lot, but don't worry about that. The system will, that we're going to design for you today will show you how to get that. You're going to get all your red matter, and then we're going to use that to create these things called diamonds, which you know everybody knows what diamonds are. But each red matter is going to give us quite a lot of diamonds, and then we're going to take those diamonds, and just as we did before with the Eternalis fuel, we're going to use it to convert, we're going to set the target to be all of our different raw materials, and we're going to convert those diamonds into the different uh, raw materials that we need for our HV array factory. Now the reason we're using diamonds and not something like red matter is watch this. Boom, you get a ton. You don't really need that. You're wasting a lot of red matter. It's better to use diamonds. They're smaller chunks, and they don't use up um, a lot of resources that you don't need. So right now we're going to cut back to our normal video and show you how to build this setup. In part two of this video, it's actually part seven of the Megalith tutorial series, we'll show you how to hook all these energy condensers up to build everything you need for the HV array. All right, here's the, uh, this thing makes little blazes. Wow. What in the blazes? I have, I have no idea what's going on in this oh, machine. Oh, well let me explain see, to you, Captain. I see lots of little things coming out. You're I frightening see, uh, me with that bomb that you have in I your see. hand. <laughs> Please don't detonate it. All, all right. right, so... What's going on here is we are making um, blaze powder, which is getting condensed into red matter. That's basically what we're doing. And we'll show you how to make the magic happen. To do that, we're going to set up. <clears throat> There's a couple different things. There's a sorting machine, a macerator, a filter, a condenser, and a lot of tubing wiring and wonderment and also covers and I use diamond covers so that we know what's going on they're pretty Woo! they're shiny so what we're gonna do your best thing to do is to grab um, redstone tube you're gonna use it really only on the bottom layer that's all you need 
Um, because we're gonna the top. Do you pulse. need it through the through the middle here too, or no? No, it's I just, just I just didn't bother to change the tube okay. types. Okay, so not a requirement. Good. Not to know. a requirement. Why do you keep pushing me? How is it pushing me? I don't know. Stop pushing. It's not fair. All right. So all we're gonna do, we just uh, redstone tube at the bottom so that it carries a signal, and we'll explain how we're getting the signal in a minute. And then regular tube up the top. Grab some covers. Like thusly, and put on the sides here, me lads. And then we're gonna just start slapping crap, get slap happy right on top of that. Well, that's probably not how we should explain it. How should we explain it, Captain? Well, we slap stuff on there, but there's certain ways these need to be facing. Ah, yes, we'll get that in a minute. So, you better have a swift wolf rending gale, or this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> or some scaffolding. You want to stand on my head? I think. Can I, I stand, stand on it? Let's see. Let's line it up nicely. Whee! Grab yourself <laughs> a trusty captain stool. <laughs> you do keep pushing me. I'm not sure why. All right. So grab your sorting machine and slap it down like that. So the little ball things are facing up. The varicose veins are on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! And then <clears throat> grab a macerator now. I'm using a rotary macerator. You do not need to. Um, any macerator will work, but I just, you know, go big or go home. So, <clears throat> well, rotary macerators are going to need a redstone signal, right, to keep them cranking? Keep them cranking. Yeah, but we don't bother with that. Okay. This machine's just always on. All right. Um, then the easiest way to do this, you need to have these facing the right way. So, if you take it, grab it in your little in your wee hand, and click. If you can see the targeting boxes on the cover slap it down and then you need to come and get you know, squeeze my big fat bum in there the same angle which I got wrong that's all right it's not too big a deal just squat down pop a squat right on there solid solid all right so these are gonna be our macerators now before we accidentally connect them to power you're gonna want uh, transformer upgrades and some overclockers. Again, you don't need this, but depends on your situation. Yeah, we have HP solar arrays hooked up to this, so if we didn't have these transformer upgrades, they would blow up the entire thing. They'd be having explosions. Then, once those are set, make sure that it will connect to your power. Then all you got to do is grab your filter and angle that, slap that thing down. Make sure that it's angled like this, the little the wee yellow thing pushing that way. Yeah, the big hole, the input hole is always larger than the output hole, mm -hmm. and the output hole is not something that you can see right now, but that's facing down. It's kind of like in real life. The input hole is bigger than the output hole. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which, speaking I of want which. the cheeseburger. <laughs> All right, and then what we're going to do is you put a, this is just an energy condenser, and you're going to want to grab a blaze rod. Now, you can technically do this with bone meal. It's the exact same setup. Um, but bone meal takes longer because the EMC value of bone meal is less. So, what's going to come next is, in fact, going to be a problem because this machine's already running. But what you want to do is you need um, paint and of orange and white paintbrush. And you want to paint them really quick when you put them down. Yeah. This you need to alternate. So we're going orange, white, orange, white, and then this next one's gonna be orange. You ready? Throw me. The, oh, you want me to put down the pipe? Lay that. Lay down your. Here, I got. <laughs> I can give you the. Here, I got it. Okay. So shift click. He's gonna shift click and ready? slap it on there. And I just painted the thing as soon as he put it down. Oh, and these pipes don't connect anymore once you paint them. That's because they be segregating. Ready? Okay. Yep. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> Okay, so now why do we just paint those tubes? Let's take a look. Because what's going to happen is, if you can see the little blaze guys are coming up, the blaze powder is going to come up and go into this condenser. We can just watch this really quick. See how the blaze powder comes in there, and if we stick some in, it'll convert it into another blaze rod. That blaze rod is going to get pulled out of the bottom by the filter and into the macerator. And then the macerator is going to grind it into blaze powder. And then these sorting machines are going to colorize the blaze powder so that it's going to split it. It's going to say color two of them white and color three of them black. 
the white mm -hmm. ones are going to get pumped back up to the top and they'll come back in Wee! right in the pneumatic tubes and into the top so we're going to do the same thing well where's the black tube because there's only one of them right? the black tube be here right mate. down here yeah and this is this is sending all that stuff into this condenser which we'll get to in a minute yep so you can see all the black tagged items are going through the black tube they can't go through the other colored tubes bada bing bada boom okay let's do orange and the reason we do white and orange is because you can right and left click to get to these things really easy you're just gonna right click to go forward left click to go back and by right just switch what I exactly what I said left click to go forward right click to go back and we're gonna do two and three because that's the ratio you need two blaze powder to make one blaze rod but macerating a blaze rod gives you five so you can send two up the pipe and incinerate the other three and not incinerate that's not what I meant let's see one two one two three and we have blutricity power going into the back of the first sorting machine and since sharing is caring these guys all share their power however IC2 is made by stingy snobs apparently who do not like to share Whoa. <laughs> so <laughs> okay they're not stingy but their machines are stingy and uh, they don't like to be sharing like red power so let's see we got these set up the white should match the white on the top the orange should match the orange in here and again remember the black is going to go this way so we'll connect our macerators I did this one okay Yay. if they don't blow up then we're good then we're going to take our we just have jacketed uh, red wire because uh, the other kind sucks and we'll put it in there and you should see it pulsing yep and we'll get into how we're doing the pulse in just a second then we need to prime yeah, them there's, there's I don't see a timer or a sequence there's or, no timers or anything like that in we this don't machine. believe in timers. that's amazing alright so we'll just prime these stick 31 in there do whatever you want and all of a sudden we be grinding there's our macerated thing and you can see it pulling out watch it'll pull two and then three and uh, here you it can comes watch now. them one two one two yes it's very difficult to see but and then I if we follow up them up here. it's going to split white split orange and the reason you need to alternate is because otherwise you can um, it can put them in the wrong tube and then you have one machine that's getting all of the stuff and none of the machines are getting anything else and then you're limited to the speed of that one machine so you don't want that and why do we have these diamond covers here um, we do not want the pipes if we were to break one of these the pipes connect to whatever they're near let me just go to creative and see it's gonna oh, try and start pumping really them bad. inside which is bad news bears and obviously so. you can use any type of cover not diamond because yeah. that's kind of expensive we just use diamond so you can see what's going on alright then this is the uh, the final step here is a conversion this is just a retrievulator um, I suppose I could place these down and what's going on here is this retrievulator is a very regulated um, machine and it can be used to regulate the signal that's pumping through this red power tubing now this is just again jacketed uh, wire no, everything stopped uh, yeah I just <laughs> did that alright so we just slap a retrievulator down and we can tell it to watch for I just happen to have a stack you probably won't when you're starting out just have it watch for a stack and then you can pull anything in let's put a, it's re gonna request brown wool until it gets a full stack of um, red matter and then we just need to give it well, where's it gonna get brown wool from it's never gonna get it lad oh my goodness is that why we don't need a timer because it'll just keep trying forever to get it kind of it won't try forever it'll try until it There's finds a, a stack of red matter so if we were to say only watch for 32 you can see a, the machine immediately shuts off because it has more than 32 but we want 64 <coughs> there we go and it starts again because it doesn't have enough now if you want this thing to just run forever then just put anything else in there you know whatever and it will never get since it can only condense red matter it will never get anything else and it'll just run forever Yay! pretty cool pretty cool mate now can we turn this machine on and off manually I suppose. Where would we put a lever for that? With now? a lever. Let's see. 
throwing all the tricksies on me, lad. Ingram wasn't expecting such a question. Questions are not to be had. <laughs> there you go. Just slap it right next to uh, the um, pneumatic red tube, and it will override the signal from the retrievulator. There you go. For all you people that play on servers where you are required to have an on-off switch for your machines. Which is legit. This is an automatic on-off switch. This is a manual one, and I just broke a whole bunch of stuff. That's all right. All right. So that's for it. next time. This is how we're supplying um, red matter and, in turn, diamonds for everything on this wall over here, and it or allows the... The whole factory basically to run. Whee! So you could do this with collectors, free. right? It just wouldn't be nearly as cool. Yeah, you can do this with uh, energy collectors, which look like this. We're going to use them later in a tutorial. But um, it's it's really an elaborate system, and it's a lot bigger than this. This thing is infinitely expandable. As you can see, we just added a row, and all that we had to do was change the colors on the top. You can make this a bajillion long. I think we at one point had 24. Yeah, it was a bit excessive. It was, yeah, it was kind of redonkulous. The only thing is then you run into problems where the collector can only handle, um, can only convert 20 items a second. So if you have any more than that, we can see they're kind of, well, we can max it out here. Anything more than 20 items funneling into it a second, and you need another one. Barely another caught condenser. up there. All that fun stuff. All right. I got to go flip the light. Flip the light. Oh, wait, flip the light. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Fly by of all our tutorials if you haven't watched those. In my ship. Probably. Oh, and the captain's ship, <laughs> which he built during a tutorial. Where'd all the construction foam go? Uh, I got rid of it. All right. There all we right. go. The light is green. That's the uh, power plant, a.k.a. the blazer rod maceration rig setup. And next we're going to do finalizing the factory and build an HV solar array. Woo! <laughs> I never get to dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Stay poised. <laughs> the captain's having a seizure.